Um, Miata. You know, I think I've owned five in the past. I'm down to two. In my household, we got a little agreement, my wife and I, is I don't count her animals, and she doesn't count my cars. I got seven dogs right now, so I think I'm losing that fight. But, uh, and, and if you think about Miata, if, if I had a buck for every headline that you guys wrote about the next Miata killer, I think I'd be a rich man today. Let's think about it. See, Toyota, MR2, and Spider, Honda Del Sol, uh, S2000, what do we got? Solstice and Sky, and my all-time favorite, the true Miata killer, who remembers the plastic Mercury Mark, uh, Capri? <laughs> Embarrassing. <laughs> Embarrassing. <laughs> so, again, I'd be a rich guy today if I had a buck for every time you guys wrote that story. So, but let's talk about today with MX-5 Miata. I'm pleased to introduce here it is, the 2015 MX-5 Miata 25th Anniversary Edition. Gentlemen. So as you can see, this car is, is really special. It's even Nacho approved, for those that know Nacho. Uh, he was able to join us at our... Uh, at our photo shoot, but Nacho has approved that allowed that we've only have a hundred of these made for the U.S. It's going to be very limited production. We're going to on May 17th, customers are going to be able to reserve these cars online at MazdaUSA.com and select the dealer at which they're going to take delivery of the cars. They're also going to be able to complete some paperwork on time to allow this to be a good and smooth ownership experience. The car is really special. Not only is it limited to 100 units, it's got special 25th anniversary logos, obviously the sole red paint and the almond interior, embroidered headrests, special graphite wheels, 17-inch graphite wheels, and a numbered name badge on the fender. So you can see that here later today. Hey everyone, it's Emmy Hall at TFL Car. We're here at the New York International Auto Show. With is that where we are? The, can you believe it? And you know who this is? This is Bob Hall. And if you don't know who that is, then you're not a fan of the Miata because he is the founder, the thinker upper, the most awesome Miata guy ever. This was basically your idea. This first gen right here was all you. Well, it's just, it was just an idea. The, the people that actually made it into a car, they're the ones that you should be raving about. I just, I just had this idea, and it was kind of a chalkboard sketch, and I realized that I didn't know how to draw, so I better <laughs> hire a designer. So, you know, it was a team, but, but yeah, I just did the concept, and it was, it was fun. It was like almost as good as a real job. <laughs> now, did you ever think that it would become into this crazy popular sports car that has lasted 25 years? I, I was pretty certain it was going to be popular, yeah. and I was, I was absolutely dead certain it would go a second generation. Mm -hmm. That I had no worry about. Beyond that, I didn't even give it a thought. I just thought, I gotta make it as good as it can be. And, and I think one of the things that the Miata has going for it is, the concept of the car is extremely simple. Right. Okay, you know, it's not about being the fastest. Okay, it's not about seconds to 60. It's, it's, not, it's not about miles, it's about smiles per gallon. Exactly. Not miles exactly. per gallon. So, you know, in that context, if you keep a car simple and you, you, you connect all these dots, it should do well. And even the third generation Miata does not have a lot of tech in the car. I mean, there's no navigation. There's, I think it has the, the mandated uh, traction control, but I mean, it's basically a stick shift and a steering wheel and still hydraulic power steering, which is, I mean, the Miata steering is the best, it's yeah. the best out there. There is some good electric steering, but this, this is, is, this is so awfully good, better. awfully good. So, so And we're looking at old one, we should be looking at a new one, but that's okay. Well, no, because the first generations are definitely, I mean, they're, they're iconic. Everybody knows them. So many people track them. Even the 1.6s. People really love the 1.6 liters. I like as the 1.6 well. most. Do you? Yeah. I mean, you know, I'll admit, I'll admit, I never met a horsepower I didn't like. Okay. <laughs> but if you can't go fast with 90 horsepower, 900 horsepower ain't going to help you. Okay, so. <laughs> well, what I really love about it, because like you said, it's not a zero to 60 car. It's not a drag race car. This is the car that you want to take into the corners and just tack it up as redline it as much as possible and have the most fun possible. And that's exactly. what I do in mine as much as I can every single day. Well, you should do it more. <laughs> Get away from these motor shows and go out and drive. <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm trying to. 
So what do you see like when some of the other competitions started happening? Because the Miata got to be so very popular and then Honda came out with the S2000 at the time. They didn't have a rear-wheel drive two-seater sports car. Like, were you kind of shaking in your boots thinking that it was going to surpass the Miata? No, I, I, to be honest, when we were working on the car, when it, when it finally got actual approval, which was 1987, we got the actual go to really build the car. It had been in this weird process before because it kind of has it had a very long, unnatural genesis. But when that happened, I was I was absolutely on pins and needles that somebody was going to launch a Miata before we did. Right. Okay, I said, and I was thinking Nissan, because no, Nissan had. Yeah. See, one of the things about the Miata that we looked at is, it was it was going to be a car that was going to be training wheels for an RX-7. Mm -hmm. Okay, you'd you'd go from the Miata to the RX-7, and there would be this migration. I thought, okay. Nissan needs something to get people into the Z because they move the Z farther and farther mm -hmm. up. So I was certain this car is such a no-brainer. Right. Nissan's going to do one, and it's like we waited and we waited, and it was the sound of a you know a newspaper blowing down an empty street or uh -huh. some crickets. Like, where's the? And it didn't come out, and it came out, and then we're like, huh? <laughs> okay. And then when the BMW Z3 came out, right. we just went, huh? Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, you know, I was I was so such a no-brainer. We were surprised nobody did one, and when the one they did come out, I was like, "Well, BMW, Mercedes, I oh, Pontiac, these... General Motors, even thought it was worth." Oh, so that felt real good. <laughs> that felt really good. And so, what was your favorite feature when you designed this car? What was your absolute favorite feature on the first generation? Probably the thing. And, and at one point in time, I had a big fight with Tomatano and the design guys. Uh -huh. Design guys wanted to have it's on that yellow car. They wanted to have a rigid cover over the oh, top. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what you'd have to do is open the rigid cover, put the top up, and put it down. I wanted to have it so if, let's say, this fabric cover you pulled off and right. it comes off and you, you had the top down without it, with one hand you could put the top up right. in about 10 seconds. Right. And that's what I wanted. While you're sitting in the car with the belt on, you can put the top up. It yeah. sounds dopey, but that no, allowed but you. No, it's true. It I've been caught you, in the yeah. rain so many times and it's just like, okay. It's an incentive to drive with the top down. Yeah. Because you can put it back up. Right. If the car, if it's over 50 degrees, my top is Because down. look, look, look. Closed cars are a crime against nature. Thank okay? you. I've always I said that. I've always guy. said that. And so that's why this was like, and I mean, if you had to pick one feature above and beyond just driving it, well, of okay, course, of course. that would be it for me. Okay. See how, see how easily amused I am? No, I love it. You know, simple, simpler times. It harkens back to a much simpler time. Yes, indeed. When, when, when uh, Aunt, Aunt Gazelda fell in the, the, the well and was eaten by the cow that was down there. <laughs> so which is your favorite Miata now? We've got first, second, third generation. Which one is your favorite? Um, for, for entirely selfish, mm -hmm. vain, reasons i like the na the first generation mm -hmm. the most but having said that the current car is just like right. right behind and if i could get a current third generation car in mariner blue that'd do Masa it for can't me can't make that happen for you I, i'm i'm just another guy they don't they have to do what's right for the company and i always I get a broom could, i could get a broom and paint it with yeah, poster I bet paint we could we could aftermarket that and not a problem yeah but but actually now i'll wait for the nd okay yeah, it's, I'm very excited. It's going to be that. better yet. It's going to be better very, yet. Very, very excited. Y'all, this is the 15th, no, 14th. Number 14. Thank you. Y'all, this is the 14th Miata that has ever been produced. It's got 8,303 miles on the odometer, and Bob Hall's going to take me for a spin. Oh, yeah. And probably honk the horn by accident. <laughs> so if you, you look at these horn buttons, yes. they're raised. That in mine, they were lowered. Yeah, they were lowered in the production cars. We probably built 20 cars with these. We realized the mistake when we were moving one and somebody hit it with a horn cup. <laughs> so this is awesome. It's such an honor to speak with you. No, I've been a Miata fan since, almost since practically I could drive. Thank I, you. Buy another one, please. I, I would. I will. I will buy a new one. I'll buy an ND. Thank you so much. It'll be great. As always, this is Emmy Hall for TFL Car. We're here at the North America, sorry, New York International Auto Show. It's in North America. Thank God I got yes, something right. Yes, right. And it's I'm with Bob Hall, the founder of the Miata. Thanks so much for watching, y'all. See you later. Bye.